Before I can answer, how's the market doing? I typically ask questions back to the person asking me the question, how is the market? The question becomes, are you a seller? Are you thinking of selling in today's market? Are you a buyer? Are you thinking of buying in today's market? Are you looking at it from a national perspective and the overall health of the national marketplace for housing? Or are you asking me what your home is worth in your neighborhood? So as I'm gathering that information, I'll take you from a national perspective down to a neighborhood perspective and cover everything in between. So it used to be some years ago that I would discuss the market in three segments. I would talk about the equity market, I would talk about the bank owned market, and I would talk about the short sale market. And I divided the market into those three um, categories and would kind of parse out where they might be in that marketplace. Um, now we've moved into a market that's much, much healthier. And for them, typically they're either a seller, a buyer, or maybe even both. In looking at the market from a national perspective, that would be the macro market. So the macro market would, would, would be things like taxes, right? the overall economy as a whole, and any administration policies that may be affecting the marketplace. So right now, we know that from a national perspective, the economy's thriving and doing fantastic. GDP's up. Interest rates are starting to move up as well to slow down the growth of the economy and inflation. But overall, it's a healthy place nationally, right? As you come down off the national platform to the state platform, we're in Florida. So looking at Florida's marketplace, the economy's thriving in Florida. As a state, we have no state income taxes, and we're seeing people from northern states that are impacted by taxes making their way down and migrating now to Florida. Move this down into the county, whether you're in uh, Indian River, whether you're in Port St. Lucie, Martin County, Palm Beach County, Broward, down in Miami-Dade, each of those are submarkets of that, but let's just take Palm Beach, for example. Palm Beach has a very, very healthy market. We have a lot of people moving to Palm Beach County. We have a thriving economy here, right? We're in a very good spot and in a healthy market. Moving from Palm Beach down to a neighborhood, I thought I'd pick three different neighborhoods or three different cities, I should say, before I get to a neighborhood, three different cities and explain maybe what's going on. So I picked Wellington, which is popular, Palm Beach Gardens, and Jupiter. So here's what I'm seeing consistently in all three of these markets. Inventory is down, right? Demand is still uh, at a spot where it's still a seller's market to buy in each of these cities. New listings are down as well. So new inventory coming on the market is down year over year. Closed sales are also down, where the median home price is up, so therefore dollar volume is up, but the number of actual closed transactions is down year over year. So to parse out each individual market, Wellington, for instance, however, has over six months worth of inventory for single family homes. So Wellington has actually creeped over to a potential buyer's market in some areas, where Palm Beach Gardens and Jupiter are both at anywhere from three and a half to five months worth of inventory. So still a, st a strong seller's market right now, um, currently. So with this information, what we can do is then take it to a neighborhood. And I find that neighborhood by neighborhood in these different areas, are seeing seller market opportunities and also buyer market opportunities. So it's important at this point in time that we kind of delve into what does that particular person want to know about the market. So many of the markets that we're in right now where we have sellers and buyers, we're going through this in great detail to make sure that we're pricing people right if they're selling.